Hey there, it's Brian with Kentucky Typer. I thought I would take this video and demo how to install a new IBM Selectric ribbon cartridge. And today we're going to be using the Selectric 2. It's probably the most common um, Selectric that people have. And also probably the most challenging to install a new ribbon cartridge in. So here we go. The first thing to do is turn your machine on and go ahead and move your, your cartridge or your carrier over um, to the center of the machine and that just gives you some space to work. Um, then you can turn the machine off if you want. And we're going to raise, um, raise the cover up so we can um, access the ribbon carrier. And um, to remove the old ribbon, you have to take your finger on this red lever and just pull that back till it snaps. And that raises up these ribbon guides so that you can easily remove um, the ribbon. So we're just gonna take these out. And then we're just gonna gingerly or gently pull up on the ribbon cartridge. And so now we've removed it. Um, if you've done that right, you'll know it because um, these will be aligned vertically with each other. You'll notice if I drop this back down um, they're aligned this direction and uh, you'll not be able to get the new cartridge on or the old cartridge off. So um, just make sure that they are aligned that way and you know that you're doing the right thing. Okay, um, to install the new cartridge, really the hardest part is making sure you get um, the ribbon on the outside of this guide. Um, it's really easy for the ribbon to fall here, but you want to make sure it's on this side. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to kind of set this down um, where it would go and then I'm going to make sure that my ribbon is on the outside of that guide right there. And if it is, I can go ahead and press this down. You'll hear it snap. And then I'm just going to take the ribbon and thread it through um, these guides. And you just need to make sure that you do get it in behind the bottom. Um, of that guide there on both sides, uh, which keeps the ribbon from, from falling out once you begin to type. Once that's done, I like to, uh, to turn this orange wheel and tighten up my ribbon uh, and um, pull or <clears throat> get some of this old damaged ribbon out of the way. So that's what I'll do here. So that looks good. And then we're just gonna take our, our fingers again, push this red lever back over to the right and that lets um, the ribbon guides drop down uh, into the typing position. And once you check that, make sure everything's nice and solid, you can turn the machine on and do a little test. And uh, what you should see is um, some nice dark print. And uh, if you've got that, the ribbon's working well and uh, you're good to go. So. Hope that helps. Um, we're gonna do another video and that one will be on the correction um, tape that has to be changed and that one's a little bit trickier. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you'll find this helpful. Thanks.